Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Moss Book 2 Overview. It's been 3 years since I've played the first one. It's so crazy how the time flies by and how I evolved, my channel did. Moss was essentially a second playthrough I've ever done in VR and it was by far the best platformer I've ever experienced. Something about this game is like so emotional or like nostalgic to me. Maybe it's hard to explain but many games lack kind of like a soul or a deeper meaning to it but this project kind of feels like a real thing and is very immersive. Am I the only one that thinks that? So much time have passed and I just can't wait to meet Quill again. <laughs> so most book 2 is what trailer actually kind of implies. Not really a sequel but a continuation of the storyline from the first game. We'll both embark on a journey to the arcane castle where there are many mysteries, puzzles to unfold and enemies to crash. I've been keeping myself very much spoiler free and the only thing I've heard is that we'll start from exact same position we ended up before. So I feel like I have to watch my own playthrough to see what was going on. Most in general is a very polished project and the second one already seems like a big upgrade. My own personal wishes are mostly centered around variety in combat system, just like in any other platformer I guess. I've already seen three new things like a strike dash, a hammer, chakrams, so I feel like we're gonna be fine on that playfield. It's gonna be no surprise here and instant playthrough from me, like I'll be damned if I'm not gonna do that. The story should be interesting, Quill looks cute as ever, there's not much to be said, Just let's just start the damn thing. <laughs> oh my god. We're back. It's literally the same thing. We remember you, dear reader. Even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero. One who could determine all our fates. She needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. Shall we begin? <laughs> Don't ask. Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Knight, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the Kingsguard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's glass was safe. The sprites, too, had their own glass to protect, and their great champion did so until his final breath. The story of his glass would resume much later when young Quill of the Clearing out on one of her humble adventures, bound with the sprite champion concealed in death. When she showed her uncle Argus the green glass, everything changed. He understood well the gravity of her find, and rushed off to seek counsel with the sprites. Quick note, do we have subtitles? I actually don't remember if it was in the previous game. Oh, there are, okay. Hell yeah. But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of starthings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader a soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. Together, they were twofold. They embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate, ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general, and at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder night, the twofold heroes slayed the monstrous serpent and rescued Argus from captivity. 
But the arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the five glass are in their clutches. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. So let us begin at the castle, where Quill and her uncle must brave the arcane to retrieve the King's Glass, still hidden away after all these years. Or so they hope. I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> damn it. Oh, literally, where we ended. Where is she? Ah! Will searched the castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the king's glass without it. Will was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. She must have missed it last time around. After all... She'd been a bit preoccupied. Together, we can accomplish anything, said Quill, looking up to her reader. I couldn't have defeated this monster without you. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> I miss you so much. She left Uncle Argus alone for too long. He could be in grave danger. All right, no time for crying. <laughs> Let's go. Exactly the same game. Damn. They had to hurry. Her poor uncle was too injured to defend himself. Should the arcane find him again. I mean, there's no surprise, graphics are very good, like... The first game already was gorgeous. This is no exception. Okay, let me focus. I'm just running around. I guess this is gonna be sort of a tutorial, right? Same controls... Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> That's the only time we will die, I swear. I really like collecting all those, you know, stuff. I mean, definitely the extras or whatever is there to come, but I was never into those bling bling. <laughs> Oh my god. What? I can't do that. Ooh. <laughs> well, welcome back, I guess. I mean, we're doing the playthrough, obviously.
I don't remember, did it give something? Just the collection. <laughs> the sounds. Okay, well that's the first puzzle. Find him safe. You found my sword. You wouldn't believe where it was. You know, I never realized just how huge Sarbog was. Shh, lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. Huh? The king's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. That's my old sword, yes. Your reader. Are they still here? Yes, Uncle. They're right by my side. <laughs> We're twofold. We aren't afraid of the arcane. I see. He said with a hint of pride. <clears throat> now. Keep your ears open and your sword ready. We must get to the throne. Oh, he's following us as well. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be like a cop co gameplay. of the arcane here that's what worries me Uncle, look out! I can't see you but I know you're up there reader please she's in your hands now it's interesting we don't have like a straight up tutorial you're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always come before matters of the heart. Will didn't understand. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. It's like you actually need to remember the mechanics to know what to do. I mean, it's like self-explainable if you ever played video games, but... It's really like a continuation of the game. I wonder if it's gonna be like bundled with the first one. Go on ahead. I'll stay a few steps behind. You focus on getting to the throne. Sure thing. <laughs> this is very similar to the first arena we fought. Come at me. Ha, ah, missed me. I think I don't know the mechanics. Ow! Ow! 
The moves. I don't know if I should like focus on that specifically. I'll definitely like, you know, collect stuff in terms of the equipment swords and stuff like that, but I also don't know when to finish. Like we know the game, we know what's going on. It's like, what do I want more from the overview? <laughs> Shush. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> we'll continue from here, but I mean, it's good to be back, of course. Everything is exactly the same as the first game which is a good thing for now i assume later on we'll get like more stuff new combat mechanics this is like a benefit of the doubt because i saw the trailer though the transition from the first game to the second game like flawless you could even mistake it for the first game and you would not even notice when you passed the Star Fox area there is not much to say honestly i love it the graphics are good combat everything most is the whole package always has been so <laughs> i'll try to record more footage as fast as possible. <laughs>